Oh, it's time to get up. Yep, quarter past four. Time's lost on me. So the Southwest Coast Path is Britain's longest national trail. It's 630 miles. It was Mark's idea. The plan was for both of us to try and set an FKT together. The FKT before we started was set by Mark Berry, and it was 11 days, 8 hours and 15 minutes, which meant he travelled at at least an average of at least 55 miles a day. So we had to obviously clock up more miles than that. It was a pretty daunting idea. It was twice the distance I'd ever covered before as a runner or a hiker but at the same time the daunting ideas are the ones you should go for usually. It's funny in a way I met Mark on the spine race that's uh, also where I met Tom Jones but I didn't really know much other than that and we spent you know a year planning it mostly on email and phone and, and then you suddenly arrive and there's three guys in a van having no sleep doing a lot of running smelling very badly in a very cramped little space. It's, uh, in a way, it has all the recipes for <laughs> a disaster. It's more difficult than we thought. The records are more impressive. We're finding it harder to sort of build on it or put a good cushion on it. Ferries can delay us. We lost an hour just waiting for a ferry yesterday. And we're not going as fast as we need to, really, to stay on record pace. Mark did start with a knee problem. It was an accident that happened to him a few weeks before. It was sort of too late for him really to pull out or took for us to rearrange. And his knee started getting worse as you'd expect. On the sixth day, I think he, he finally realized in the afternoon that he had to call it quits. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't want to give up. He once didn't give up in, during UTMB when he had had a mid-race stroke. So he's very determined. I could see what anguish it was for him. But he soon became the sort of mastermind of the operation. Get to a stage you sort of don't think it's ever going to stop. <laughs> it's just, it's just like this is normal life now. When I started, that could hardly do up. Hello. No suck. No, it gets about you. One of the reasons to do an FKT on the Southwest Coast Path would be just that really powerful sense of mission. And I love also the simplicity of your day. The wonderful thing about trail running is you do spend so much more time in the moment, partly simply because you have to watch where you're putting your feet, so you have to concentrate on what you're doing now. So I see these sort of trips, uh, or just long distance running or trail running, as an as um, antidote to, to modern life in a way. If I'm just, honest, if, if I can meet you more often, I can travel lighter and I'll be probably quicker. Because I'm travelling, I'm carrying enough food and drink for like four hours. I'm a mile or two slower than I would have liked. Just keep this pace. All right. Yeah. All right. And All right, we'll do another. We've got to get to St. Ives. So it's 62 miles per day and then 62 miles every day from here on. I thought I'd do 64. No, it looks like it's 62. Oh, oh that's easy. Yeah. Oh, double 64, then. I was troubled. 62. Oh dear. Our FKT attempt was, was very much a sort of uh, adventure of two halves. I mean, um, half of it I was running with Mark, and then the second half I was doing it on my own. And at first that felt very liberating, because I could go at whatever pace I fancied and sort of make my own decisions. But, but it did become oppressive uh, and, and relentless. It just felt relentless. You'd, do, you'd run 60 miles of the day and then go, oh, you've got 260 miles left and it just almost felt like you were hammering yourself and thinking that that wasn't enough, you know, to create a good FKT. Good luck, mate. See you in a bit.
I felt sluggish for the first time leaving um, leaving you lot. Maybe it was an emotional thing. Oh, now? No, the next section. Okay, well, I'll make up time. Yes. There's around 111,000 feet of ascent on the whole path, and that's well over three and a half times up Everest from sea level, so it's a hell of a lot. So often we were doing 10,000 foot per, you know, in a day of ascent. You know, it felt so wild and remote sometimes, and you're right on the edge of the country where you'd feel just sky high running along cliff tops. You just felt happy to be alive, I suppose, and lucky to be having this adventure. It'll be dark soon, so I'm trying to make good use of the last light. So it's difficult to know exactly where we are against the current FKT record. But we're close to it. It's been some tired moments. If I'm honest, a couple of tears. But we're getting there. <laughs> it's such a long way. Hi, hey, buddy. Are hey. there any dry socks yet? Fine. You're right. Do you know I can't smell a thing? It might just be because my own odour is overpowered every other. Oh yeah, I can smell it now, that's nice. Because um, I've had wet, wet feet for sort of the last three days constantly. When I'd arrive at the van, Tom would nearly always have at least a couple of warm drinks for me, some food. He was amazing at getting meals ready, often meals you'd never imagined. Mm. One night he even, he bought us fish and chips, but he, he wrapped it in his own down jacket to try and keep them warm for us. Uh, so he was an absolute legend. Right, where the hell do I have to go? <laughs> Thank you very much, Tom. You're a legend. Another Tom special. No idea what's in it. What is it? What's in it, Tom? They were mocking me saying I get Robbie Britton's hand hand me downs. This duck best basket doesn't want. And that's why I run every day. That's why I run. I'm tired. The last half hour or so have been difficult. So I'm sleepy. <laughs> I had less than three hours last night. Three hours the night before. It's catching up with me in this heat a bit. Go, Gabo! Go, Gabo! Go! Oh, I like this sort of. Go on! Put some effort in. <laughs> Five miles. <sighs> It's 500. I've been one hell of an adventure, and obviously for Mark it's already been heartbreaking. But he always said if he didn't break it, the next best thing was for me to break it. So I'm doing this for him really. It's going to be emotional finishing. It feels emotional now. Beautiful evening. It's a good omen. Come on! Come on, legs! Don't let me down now.